saying, what was she thinking? And if you feel like... Do you think that? Because you say it like you think that. I don't know if you should have done Playboy. If I were you and I got kicked out of Danity Kane, I would have just been focusing on legitimizing myself before I went to go do Who that. Who says Playboy is not legitimate? It's not brain science, you know? I would have been worried about working on the artist side. You can always go do Playboy. Who says being, being in Playboy is an artistry? But I see more for you, Aubrey. You know, I see you being a full-on artist that's working her ass off in the industry. I am. I have been for five years. Well, don't get defensive. I know you're still doing it. You know, I've always suspected that Melissa is, is probably a little jealous of the opportunities that I've gotten in life only because, you know, she wanted them and didn't get them. I'm just saying... If I were you, I wouldn't have done it in that point in my career. Sitting with Melissa and listening to her say all of the, the contrary things that she was saying, I, I just honestly got to a point where I shut down. Yeah. And which way is your bathroom? I have the bathroom so bad. Melissa, you are out of your damn mind if you think that you're going to come and be a hater and a hypocrite and still get any more of my time. Jason! Matter. I'm not going back down to dinner. I'm just sick of it, honestly. I don't want to have to talk to any of the haters anymore. I'm sitting there next to her, and she just straight told me, Playboy, you know, it was a big mistake. Like, you should have done legitimate things after you got kicked out of Danny Kane. Like, hater, 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 nonstop. And then I was like, well, what are you saying? It's legitimate. Girl, don't get so defensive, girl. Don't get defensive. I... I'll, is she still here? Because I'll tell her what's up. Listen, she wants to know what a real friend is. I can't go back down there. You want to see a real friend? Then let me just talk to her. I'll tell her what's up. What's going on over here? I don't know. You tell me. I just wanted to come down and take the opportunity as a, a real friend in Aubrey's life because I just feel like it's kind of bull that you would sit and look at her in the eye and try and make her feel like I've never you, in my it's life that you just never swear a to God you and know would what? turn into that even, kind of a person. I don't even receive this right now. Like I just was, I'm so infuriated I that I somebody I care it. about that much could be treated that way by someone like you. I think it's Bye. pathetic. Bye. Have a safe flight back, Melissa. If you're honestly proud of what you've done and accomplished in your life, then you shouldn't be defensive and you shouldn't um, walk up, you know, and leave the dinner table after you've invited your friend. Give her her last five minutes of fame so that she could be all, all pretty on Aubrey's show and then talk about Aubrey to Aubrey's face. Go ahead, five more minutes, Melissa. Have fun. Good night. Have a safe life. Bye. I hope Perez writes about it, about how slutty you looked on the show. <laughs> bitch. After the fiasco with Melissa, I called my mom in Palm Springs and asked her to come down immediately. Hi, baby. I really needed to talk to someone that I trust because I don't know the answers and I don't have the strength to find them right now. Mom, I am stressed. <sighs> Melissa comes in and she said Playboy ruined my career and that her general opinion of me doing this show is that I shouldn't do it and that it's a step down. This is your friend of three years? She proved last night what she is. She's not a friend. She's a friend of me. Do you think I'm making a mistake? I mean, I... I that's a general perception right now. That I've sold out, that I'm running my career, that Skanky O'Day is once again taking off her clothes. You're doubting yourself. Well, yeah, Mom. I mean, I have it's to be doing natural. something wrong. I mean, it's not like I have a million opportunities right now, Mom. I went to a rehearsal and it was like, I don't know if you can do this role. I don't know if you'll get that part. I don't know if you'll be... I wanted to look at this dude like I've been in a multi-platinum pop group for almost five years now. Do you really think I can't come up here and twirl around and show my... Would you like some cheese with the wine? You want to do exactly gonna... what... You want to do exactly what you want to do and not have anybody criticize you and not have anybody tell you you shouldn't do that. That's what you really want. You want your cake and eat it too. You're not going to get that. Oh, baby. <laughs> I just want my career back. <laughs> I, I don't even know anymore. One day, I don't even want to get out of bed. And one day, I want to get up and fight every single person that says everything wrong about me. I don't live to be like most people. I live to be the best I can be, and this is not... It. And if I'm going to lose my career because I'm coming and doing a show, 
All I wanted to do was stand on a light and be in a group and be talented and show the world what I can do. I am scarred with all these names. I have to be skanky O'Day and try and wipe it away the rest of my life. My mom tells me the truth. And her truth was that I need to get over it. But I'm scared that I'll live the rest of my life wondering what would have happened if I just shut the up and listened to Puff. Okay. I don't know if the decision to do Peep Show was the right choice. My mom's thoughts on it are you just can't give up and, and when you haven't even tried. And, you know, maybe the best way to figure out whether this is the right place for me is to invite the entire cast up and really get to know them. Hello! I really wanted to feel a family vibe and make everybody feel a little more comfortable, a little more free. Who wants alcohol? Well, too bad she's not having as much fun as we are. Okay, wait, we need to do a toast. I just want to say, I am so honored to be a part of what you guys are doing on stage every night. I think you guys are beautiful, inside and out, from what I've seen so far. Maybe in a couple weeks we'll have a different answer. I'm, I'm very to be here. I hope that you guys will be happy having me here. I really hope we become family and make this situation something so beautiful that something that nobody will ever understand but us. Yeah. So cheers to that. This party definitely solidified my entrance into this show. I know. Oh my god, baby. I'm gonna take her outside to go to the bathroom. I'll be back. At this point in my career, I'm going through probably the biggest transition I've ever had. And anything that I do is going to be a huge risk. I really hope that Vegas doesn't end up being the thing that made me illegitimate and run my career. Mama. This may not be exactly where I wanted to be at this stage in my career, but who knows? The world works in mysterious ways. Maybe this is exactly where I'm supposed to be in life.